Hi guys, I'm Sarah Hall, and today we're going to talk about how to recognize the signs that you are receiving from the angels. So a lot of you have asked me questions on how to know when the angels are connecting with you. So today's talk is all about divine guidance. And thank you for your questions. I think that this is such a great topic because guess what? The angels work with all of us, meaning all of us have the ability to receive their signs, messages, and guidance in life. Every single human being has angels watching over them. The angels are, of course, non-religious, so they watch over everybody regardless of what belief system or religious background you come from. Angels are beings of a higher consciousness with an infinite capacity for knowledge, wisdom, and healing. They are also beings of pure love. So when you receive guidance from them, you know that it's coming from a source that is 100% loving, positive, and uplifting. The way that the angels intervene in our lives is completely based on our free will. In other words, they work with us in the ways that we are open to. So they'll never interfere with your daily life or startle you by appearing before you in a way that you're not ready for. In some people's experiences, yes, angels absolutely show up as a vision that you see with your physical eyes in front of you or speak to you in a voice that your physical ears can hear. But in most cases, the angels are going to work with you in a way that integrates with your daily living gently and harmoniously. This means that the angel signs can often seem a bit subtle at first, but if you train your consciousness, you can easily begin to recognize the signs and messages your angels send you. The first step to receiving and then recognizing divine guidance is to ask for it. So remember, your angels work with you based on your free will. So set the free will intention to hear, see, feel, and communicate with them. You can even request that the angels communicate with you in certain ways. For example, I know many people who have asked their angels to give them signs in the outside world to help verify intuitive inner guidance that they have received. You can ask your angels for help in sharpening your clairvoyance, overall intuition, or perhaps your ability to remember and be more aware in your dreams. Know that when we ask the angels for help with something, or when we ask them a question, they will always answer us and guide us until we have received the answer so that we can find the peace that we need. So don't ever worry that you might miss out on receiving one of the angel signs. The angels connect with us in three major ways. Number one, they communicate directly to us through our intuitive channels, including our clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, clairaudience, which is clear hearing, clairsentience, which is clear feeling, and claircognizance, which is clear thinking. Every single one of us has the capacity to receive intuitive messages. This is not a special skill that some people have and some don't. All of us can do this in the same way that all of us could be musical if we wanted. For example, some people are simply born maybe with a very high interest and focus on music and may display a natural aptitude for it from a young age. But the person who works hard, trains, and studies music has the same potential to reach musical excellence as the person to whom that musical ability came naturally. So all of us can sharpen and use our natural intuitive abilities through spiritual practice if we choose it. To begin recognizing the signs that the angels are sending you directly through your intuition, I highly recommend practicing meditation and mindfulness. The greater you increase your awareness, the greater your intuitive sensitivity will become. 
and thereby you'll be more likely to notice little changes in your perception. Set time aside regularly to practice stillness. The angels can send you their messages during this time because you'll be incredibly open, receptive, and more observant of the thoughts, visions, sounds, feelings, and other little impressions that are flowing into your consciousness. Of course, we want to be sure that we are setting aside a time to have completely focused, uninterrupted stillness. And if it is your intention to be and practice complete stillness, then of course the angels are going to respect that intention 100%. So I find that at the end of a very still meditative practice, this is a great time to open your mind and energy pathways to the angels and invite them to send you any messages that you desire to receive. As you practice mindfulness, it can also be helpful to tune in to your physical body. So notice the subtle changes in your body's feelings after you call on your angels. When your angels are connecting with you, you'll often feel a little sense of pressure or a temperature change, as well as maybe tingles or goosebumps go down the spine or the arms. And for example, when I connect with Archangel Michael, my body temperature tends to rise. I always feel warmer and I'll feel little tingles when the angels are telling me yes, or when they're telling me that the messages that I have gotten or the track that I'm on is right and it is aligned with a higher truth. So care for your spiritual sensitivity and give it space to grow through self-love, prayer, meditation, and physical self-care. All of those practices will lead to receiving clearer and more consistent messages from your angels and guides. Now, the second way that the angels connect with us typically is through signs and synchronicities that we receive in the outside world. Some of the common signs we receive when the angels are working with us are finding white feathers, seeing repeated number sequences, especially 444, which is the number of the angels, seeing specific repeated words or phrases throughout your day that might per pertain to a message that you need to hear or have asked about, or even hearing repeated messages through songs or through media that just appears in your life or experiencing divine coincidences in which the universe seems to line up just right to manifest the support or guidance that you need. In order to recognize these outer world signs, first remember that there are no accidents in this world. We attract everything we experience in our lives according to a higher divine order. So if something seems significant, it likely is. Begin to pay attention to the patterns and repeated symbols you get too. For example, if you often see something like flowers, a sacred geometry sign, or a particular bird over and over again, or maybe a color everywhere you go, then this could be one of the signs that the angels are using to let you know that they are there and that you are on the right track. Angels are usually very consistent when they give us messages. So a great way to distinguish between what is and is not divine guidance can be to reflect on whether the sign or intuition you're getting is part of a greater repeated theme or pattern. Angels love to teach and guide in themes that show up in many areas of life at once. So if you're getting an intuition that seems maybe kind of random um, or it makes you second guess it, ask for clarity and wait to see the classic consistency through which the angels affirm and repeat their messages to you. I'll share a story as an example. When I first began working with the angels regularly, I asked them to send me a symbol to help me recognize their presence and feel when I was on the right track. In meditation, the angel sent me an image of a rose and communicated that it was a symbol of my intuitive and spiritual growth and that they would give that sign to me. I then began to see the rose all over the place. Sometimes I'd be walking down the street and see a perfect rose lying on a park bench 
Or I'd get up in the morning to leave my house and rose petals would be scattered all over my front porch. This became an easy outer world symbol that helped me to recognize that the angels were with me. So you can always ask the angels to send you something clear, significant, and recognizable to help you connect with them. Now, the third way that the angels connect with us is through other people. This is one of the most common means through which the angels answer our prayers and intervene in our lives. They are here, after all, to help the entire human race reach a higher state of peace and love. So when they bring us together, we have the opportunity to grow and share together in that love, expanding the spiritual lessons and blessings for all. So when you pray for support or guidance, notice the people who start showing up in your life and what those people have to say or show you. Someone may come forward with exactly the answer that you need for your life situation. The angels have a magical ability to see through the highest of spiritual perspectives and recognize when two people are maybe resonating on the same level. So they'll nudge us into one another's lives to help us along with our life purpose and learning. Know that the more you focus on noticing the angel's guidance, the more that guidance will begin to come to you. And the more that you follow the angel's guidance, the more your life and inner self will change such that you are aligned with higher spiritual energy that enables you to communicate clearer and clearer with the divine. Practice faith both in yourself and your ability to connect with spirit, as well as faith in the angels. Use affirmations such as, I am profoundly intuitive or I am a clear channel for the angel's messages, or I love and gratefully celebrate my clear communication with the divine. Affirmations help to ground your intentions into the framework of your mind such that you are not only opening up your free will to work with the angels, but also opening up your spiritual gifts by acknowledging and believing in them. Our beliefs are everything when it comes to sharpening our intuition. As you believe in your intuitive abilities and in the power of co-creating your path with spirit, so it shall be. You have the power to be an open channel for the light right now, such that it heals, uplifts, and harmonizes all areas of your life and brings light to those around you as well. So thank you so much for watching this video, my fellow light workers. It is my honor and pleasure to connect with you. Do hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to keep in touch, you can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell below so that you'll know when I have made a new video for you. Check out the links in the description below so that you can stay connected with me on social media and to listen to my podcast, Through the Eyes of the Angels, which is live every third Thursday of the month. And if you would like your own angel reading, coaching, or healing session with me, you can visit my website at www.sarahhall.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!